So what you do is you take your regular air line, which has 120 PSI max coming into it, plug in the bottom of your gun, and if you look at the valve, it's a Hockley Roberts valve. It's pretty simple, just turn it in, one way's locked, turn it in, quarter of a turn, it's locked in the open position. All you do is squeeze the trigger and hold it on. fills pretty quickly that way and I'll just show you the same thing using an air bottle. Here you can see I've used an SCBA bottle. I did an on so I'm 120 PSI into the bottle, into the regulator. Same thing, put it on the end. Once it gets to a point where it's pretty full, just lock the valve out and just press the trigger and fill the top. Once it feels firm, make sure you take the pressure gauge and actually measure it. Pressure gauge is pretty simple. All you do is you take it and just push it into the end. And right now I'm at a pound and a half, so I'll just top it up. And we're good. So that's using a regulator. If you have one off your air pressure bags, you can use the same one. Just remember, it's only 120 PSI coming into that gun. Obviously, you can use a pump. There's another style of pump that works extremely well. Large volumes of air. Pretty simple, same thing. Just stick it into the back of the valve and press it. And this will pump up to 3 PSI, which is just what you need. Excellent, excellent pump. Another way that works is with a blower or even a vacuum cleaner. And it's very quick. Same thing, pull in the valve. Lock the valve in and pull the trigger. always use the old vacuum cleaner. Very simple, same thing, vacuum over top of the end and you'll get the same amount of pressure. Just remember when you top it off to use the gauge, make sure it's 3 PSI, 3 PSI and the floor takes 9. And put your caps on. And you're ready to go. Uses. And in the next videos, we'll show you some of those.